There has been talk amongst the guards that you are dragonborn. But such a thing, surely that's not possible. Good. You're finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? I knew I could count on Irileth, but there must be more to it than that. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the Voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thum or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tybeset himself... You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Rungar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as she may be, I don't see any signs of her being this... what? Dragonborn. Nord nonsense. Why? Congratulations on becoming a Thane, my friend. You wear the title well. If you need anything else, just ask. Don't be so hard on Avenici. Good to see you. Ah. You're convinced that that's what you are, then? That's the Greybeard's business, not ours. And neither do I. Not for certain. I imagine we'll find out soon enough, though, hmm? Anyway, you ask me what I know. I'm more familiar with the Cyrodiilic legends than the Nordic ones, but I'll tell you what I've read. Though some scholars on Solstheim dispute it, the first definite use of the term Dragonborn is attributed to Saint Alessia, back in the First Era. The story goes that on her deathbed, Alessia made a pact with Akatosh, who infused her with his divine blood and granted her the Amulet of Kings. Akatosh then sealed off the Plains of Oblivion, banishing the Aedra and Daedra from the surface of Nern forevermore. Or at least, for as long as one of Alessia's descendants sat on the throne of Cyrodiil and wore the amulet. From then on, Alessia's descendants were known as Dragonborn. Of course, that line ended with the death of Martin Septim during the Oblivion Crisis. But he turned into a giant dragon and kicked Maroon's Dagon back into the Deadlands, which seems to have confused things. Anyway, Skip ahead a couple of hundred years, and here you are, supposedly with that same dragon blood in your veins. The somewhat primitive Nordic myths claim that lets you absorb the soul of a dragon, which we've both seen you do, and channel it into a shout. But as far as I'm aware, no one ever saw any of the dragonborn emperors do that. Maybe you're related to them. Maybe the gods just like you. In any case, as I said, I have a feeling we'll find out more soon enough. Let's go. The Greybeards are masters of the Thum. I don't doubt they'll have the answers to the questions you must have. I knew there was something different about you. You have a strange energy in your voice. And in your eyes, I can see fire. And I am sure in time we will find out why. Ah, moving on. <laughs>